Uh, next, I have uh, Norman Waite. One of you gentlemen is Mr. Waite. Good morning. Good morning, councillors. My name, as you know, is Norm Waite, and I'm president of the Bay Clover Hill Community Association. I'm here today to represent the 12,250 residents in our largely vertical neighborhood, and it's bordered by College Street to the south, Charles Street West to the north, Young Street to the east, and Queens Park Crescent to the west. The 11 Wellesley Street West site is located in the very heart of our community. I have lived for 13 years in our tower dense neighborhood where development and density continue to grow at an accelerated pace. There are currently nine condominium projects under construction and when completed these nine projects alone will add an additional 4,200 units to our community with a projected population increase of 8,400 residents. By 2016, there could be 20,000 residents in our neighborhood. And that, ladies and gentlemen, would represent a whopping 57% increase in population all competing for green space and parks. Places to grow density intensification targets for Toronto urban growth centers are 400 residents and jobs combined per hectare by 2031. Our neighborhood's current density is 708 residents and jobs, and that's twice the prescribed density 20 years early. As you are aware, there is a severe shortage of green space in downtown Toronto. And research clearly shows that downtown Toronto has one of the lowest allocations of park space per capita in Canada. Bay Clover Hill residents have identified the lack of park space in our community as their number one priority. And they have been quite clear in their desire for the province of Ontario and the city of Toronto to work together to help solve this important problem. Both the province of Ontario and the city of Toronto have described complete communities as those that are tree-lined have green spaces of all sizes and other public spaces for community-based social and recreational activities. I ask members of this government management committee, where is our complete community? If my nine-year-old grandson Jacob were here today, he would have asked you the following question. Where are kids supposed to play in downtown Toronto. When Jacob comes to visit me with his brothers and sister in my neighborhood, he sees children everywhere, but the children don't seem to have any place to play. You know, he's absolutely right. There is no public space devoted to young children and play facilities. There is no place to play a sport, sit in the sun, or relax for kids, and for that matter, seniors alike. A public community park would provide a place for the children in our neighborhood to play. The 11 Wellesley Street site represents the only opportunity to provide the densest urban center in Canada with a public community park. Committee members, we ask that you change your decision and explore ways to procure this land at 11 Wellesley Street West for a dynamic 
and functional public community park. Your support is the only way this park can be secured. I thank you for your consideration of this matter. Thank you. Any questions? This? Councillor Wong Tam? Uh, yes, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Waite, for your presentation. Um, quick question regarding the tall buildings guideline, which was just passed in uh, Toronto East Shore Community Council uh, as of uh, June. And I ask this question because I'm going to tie it into this specific site. Uh, are you aware that the tall buildings guideline uh, provides a as of right height of 20 stories on 11 Wellesley? Are you aware that the tall buildings guideline just passed by the Toronto East Shore Community Council and Council in June provides of as of right tower height of 20 stories? Yes. And uh, if a developer was to purchase that site and to ask for additional rezoning, that are you aware that they can uh, possibly get up to uh, 35 stories? Are you aware that Infrastructure Ontario commissioned the same company, Urban Strategies, to write a optimal use study report for Infrastructure Ontario's use, where they are proposing to the development industry that any developer purchasing this property can buy this property and possibly erect a 55 and 45 story tower on this property? Yes, I have read that report thoroughly. Why do you think Infrastructure Ontario uh, would be able to uh, make such claims in a sales brochure despite the fact that the City of Toronto is only uh, suggesting an as-of-right height regime of 20 stories? I would you repeat that question. I'm sorry, my. Why would Infrastructure Ontario market that this parcel of land um, knowing that the City of Toronto has a, has a planning regime in place with certain built form guidelines for tall buildings of 20 stories, why would they market, actively market, condominiums in the height ranges of 45 and 55 stories? Perhaps you're not familiar with the tall, uh, recently passed tall building guidelines. Should they not become more aware of, of the of the planning regime in the City of Toronto before listing a property for sale and promising developers additional height and density that they do, they do not have? Absolutely, especially in light of, of the input that uh, our MPP, Glenn Murray, has given to them. They should be well aware of it. Okay, thank you.